Double the ditty. Do it. <laughs> it was a good time. It's cool though. Blur oh, Town's on the list. Because my guy lives in DC, so I, I gotta just the stage. Blur Town. Yeah, 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 like there was a rebate for hotels, I just didn't get it and uh, get the deal in time. Yeah, I'm sure if we all decide, I mean, I'll go in on the hotel room Ten, with people nine, if we all want to do this eight, next year. Seven, so I would, six, I'm, the sooner I'm we plan at least it, doing it next year. The sooner we plan it, the Two, money I have the one, better chance to have yeah. that money. For Is me eating chips like we'll ASMR start playing it now. distracting? Mike, well, I am. Uh, I mean, where comes the show I want to go to? Mike, we're live. Hey, Ken, you were on the show, right? Yeah. Oh. You're watching Blurred Out Radio. <laughs> uh, also, no, uh, Chip, I recommend uh, that you chew those chips as loud as you want. All right, cool. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Into the mic. We haven't had any ASMR uh, moments on the show. That's Aaron Mitchell back there. Uh, my name's Mike Sutter. I'm the host of the show. <laughs> Uh, I'm joined by a wonderful panel of blurs. Uh, I will introduce them, starting with Steve. Uh, hey, Steve. What? Steve what? Is what? 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 Huh? What happened? Oh yeah, I see that guy. Who? Uh, <laughs> there it is. Uh, yeah. I am also joined by the hardest working DJ in all of Chicago, DJ L.O. Cart. D -d 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 DJ Alokari. Uh, we are joined by the most fashionable of all blurs in Chicago, Kenny. Oh, oh, oh my god, she killed K Kenny! You bastard! <laughs> I can do some ASMR for you guys. I can talk about this. It's that ASMR. was an incredible drop. How was the weather? Thank you for that drop, LG. It's one of the hottest things ever. Brunch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we are also joined by, I mean, this, this, we got half the black kids at SAIC somewhere on camera. Uh, uh, shout out to SAIC, all the kids that came in in 2000 or earlier or were there and survived to this day. Uh, Aaron, you might as well just come up, because you like... <laughs> is our guest. Shit, Moody is with us today. Ooh! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Flock of family! Aaron Mitchell, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Aaron. <laughs> Chelsea, come over here and introduce yourself to us. Yeah, Chelsea. You're on camera. Chelsea, you're like so close to Chip, you might as well just like be in Chip's camera from now on. There you go. It's wild here in Elgin in like 8D. Like I hear everybody too. I know, I'm like in all your cameras. I mean, all the sound. There she is. She's in all there the sound go. spaces. Elgin, we love you. My former roommate, uh, Chelsea, is here. We live together on the west side. Uh, she let me stay in her extra room. There was a large plot of land that was just broken glass and crackheads behind. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Let's, uh, uh, let's go there. Yeah. It was a good time. Was Talk good about time. it. Yeah. I used to paint outside, and then we would come from the painter. I walked past, and once I was painting outside, and somebody bought me a 40, and it was the nicest thing that a human had done for me. <laughs> that was, uh, it like, didn't know me at all. That's a great Sean. short story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, folks, we got some stuff to talk about tonight. Uh, oh, shit. We're to talk about the Scooby-Doo Encourage the Cowardly Dog movie. Which actually is kind of uh, wrong. The oddest crossover, but it feels appropriate. I don't know. It's dogs. They're scared of stuff. Um... We are also going to talk about the new Mortal Kombat animated movie. I didn't Ooh, watch the last one. I heard it was alright. I don't know. 
Uh, it was decent. But we're going to get into that later in the show. Right now, we're going to do a uh, blurt out. Blurt it out. Uh, for the folks that don't know, Blurred Out's one geeky thing that you have done this week, and my geeky thing, and the reason I'm wearing this fancy wristband and why I am not at home, uh, is because I went to BlurredCon this weekend. Uh, let me tell you. I said it before the show. You take three in the morning, 80 black folks, listening to like you, you haka show smoking weed, passing liquor around. There was a young lady selling liquor that had like steam coming off of it. I drank it. I don't exactly know what was in it. Uh, all of that and nobody got arrested. That's incredible. That's amazing. I'm not gonna lie. The cops did not come. White people Clap track come. for that one. It's great. It wasn't even a white guy at the like hot dog stand or whatever? The only whiteness that I saw, uh, there were a lot of service dogs. I assumed mm -hmm. that there were actual service dogs, not just ones that had the best. Right. Uh, there was also, so there was a hentai theater uh, where yeah, we was like, yeah. oh, yeah. hentai talk I shit about it. A blur time now. That's a hentai. I mean, it was an all night hentai theater. Too. What? All, all night? Um, the sun is. It was so an incredible night. thing. Was yeah. there a black yeah. Pee Wee Herman there? All night hentai theater. Uh, DJ Lokari, what you say? <laughs> was there a black Pee Wee Herman there? You know, messing up. Hold up, you know. Wait, say that again close to the mic. Before did. you get into the punchline. Oh. <laughs> I'll say, was there a black Pee Wee Herman there? What? Were there I black people now. running in there? Black yeah. Pee Wee Herman. Pee Wee Herman? He got in trouble? Oh, yeah, no, nobody was Pee Wee Herman. Not okay. that I could see, he was dark in there. Uh, the but we watched the movie. There it is. Uh, we watched the movie for the purpose of making fun of it. Uh, um, it was a good time. But there was I didn't know there was a Scooby uh, Courage crossover. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. It's not actually. It's gonna be I great. Gonna be I thought I'm we were talking about it. whether we liked Scooby or Courage more. I, I was unaware of the crossover. Uh, so this is new information for me. There you go. And it's quite two, you will learn more about this movie. Um, but yeah, I wanted to send a quick shout out to the Head Nerds in Charge podcast, the Trap Nerds podcast, the Spicy Ramen podcast, uh, Rob Lee of MTR podcast, and Blurs and Whiskey. Uh, these are all people that we've had on the show over the past year during the pandemic. Uh, I got to meet, drink, and smoke with all of them. And they are all great people. Uh, go check them out. Uh, with that, I will close out my blurt out and pass it to Steve. Uh, so what did I do? No, I, I, you know, I won't even light it. I'll finish my blurred out first, you know? Huh. Uh, Very professional. Uh, yeah, do you think, Steve? Can you uh, uh, smoke for you? Thanks, Kenny. I see you with that uh, OG flower puff or whatever, you know what I mean? Oh, you know, my bong uh, matches the yeah. color of my life. <laughs> there you go. Perf uh, yeah. Purple lifestyle. Coordinate. Coordinate. Always. Coordinate. Love you, Steve. Uh, thank you. Um, what? <laughs> What was I, what did I do? I finished uh, the video game that I was hate, hated playing today, uh, Oninaki. Um, How was it, Steve? Huh? How was it? It was, it's not worth your time, you know? <laughs> if you, if you played, uh, Gaming review. If you, like, uh, played Valkyrie Profile, you played the game before, it's a little bit more hack and slash, so that kind of kept me going, but, like, other than that, the storyline was... What's the uh, name of this game so I can Google it? Oninaki, O-N-I-N-A-K-I. You know what I mean? Check this out. Yeah. No, I've never heard of this in my whole yeah, life. Yeah, it was only six ninety nine on the on the fucking uh, eShop on, uh, on the Switch, you know? Nice. So, there's a, there's a reason why. Too many, too many low screens, too many cutscenes, no reason. A little bit. Word. Sorry, I was talking to Jeff. Hey, what up, Jeff? I know there's other niggas in the room, too. Oh, Jeff, come here. Because I think <laughs> you and Steve know each other, right? Remember Jeff Johnson? Yeah, hell yeah. What's up, dude? <laughs> Where are you? Chilling. <laughs> Where are you? We got SAIC niggas and Cleveland niggas. It's all, it's just oh, a no, family same. reunion. It's a party, yeah. <laughs> Uh, me, me and Jeff um, have spent many a fucked up nights together, and we don't even know each other like that. 
nice. Good time. Good time. So Oni Naki, uh, not a good game. No, don't don't buy it. It's cheap though. Don't Play Streets of Rage, guys. Mm. I forgot that. Streets of Rage Four. They've made amazing. four of those games. Hell yeah. There's another one. There's another Four is really one. great. I, I, Kenny likes it more than me. Well, because well, Kenny, before you get into that. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna cut you off. I, I just like yeah, play Streets of Rage if you want some. Streets of Rage is the shit. It's all right. Uh, Steve, does that conclude your blurred out? Yeah, I got nothing else. Okay. Well, thank you, Steve. No uh, DJ L O Kari. Yeah, man. Uh, so I watched that Space Jam. And, uh, <laughs> I took my tans. Somebody, uh, did Coke my dealer at BlurCon told me that he watches that to go to sleep. Wait, the new one? He watches it go to sleep? Yeah. yeah. He said yeah. he tried to watch it and fell asleep, and then now he's like, you know what? I feel like going to sleep. I'm going to put on Space Jam. <laughs> I don't know if it's just that soothing. I mean, I talking mm -hmm. about it, my blurred out. <laughs> it, it takes a long time to get to the actual full on plot. You yes, know. it does, Elgin. Oh my God! <laughs> like, it's too long. At least there is a plot. <laughs> I mean, I didn't expect that. I, it's too long. You know what? Look, I, before I put it like this, I, I actually rewatched the first Space Jam movie after watching it, just to be like, "Dang, man, was like the plot that bad?" Like in the first one, and literally, I wa I rewatched Space Jam, and I was like, "You know what? They got to what? Everything made sense." By the first By the eight minutes of the movie, I was like, "Okay, got it." I, I thought that I did the same thing. I did the same thought exercise. I, was, I did the same thought exercise. I couldn't believe it. I was just like, yeah. "Damn, man!" And and LeBron James, oh my god! The, the I literally rewind this one scene where he was. <laughs> there's a scene in the movie where he's supposed to be having a very serious moment with his his son. <laughs> Don't do it, Elgin. <laughs> Don't do it, bro. He, he literally goes. And it was great. No, my. And it was yo, fantastic. Yo, he's like, God, I love you. And he like. <laughs> yeah. I was like. Spoiler alert. Like no. Okay, so. Look, look, look. I'm just saying, like, I think the reason that Michael Jordan worked in the first one for the most, like, yeah, Michael Jordan's acting was bad. I was not looking for an award-winning performance from, you know, <laughs> from LeBron James at all, right? But when you watch, the reason that Michael Jordan worked is because he was a straight man with all of these characters, you know? Bingo. And then it's you, so bingo. every everyone else is trying to be funny. And what LeBron James is doing is he's trying to be, he's trying to be funny, and it's like, not in a funny dad joke kind of way. It's just kind of mm -hmm. like awkward the whole time. Like it, it I ain't doesn't. I never been no funny nigga from Akron. And man, we I, don't got to shit on all of Akron. I mean, <laughs> they're good people. There. I thought, I thought that, the rent is cheap. Yo, you're <laughs> there Akron are some like schools. He was he was he was <laughs> decent at uh, that, 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 that last comedy that he was in. Right? What was that last comedy? Oh, LeBron I mean, was what's it called? Right. Was it called like Shipwreck? What was the name of that last like little movie that he did? With, uh, it was like some romantic comedy, but he was decent in that. So I thought, I thought he might be all right. Closer to your mic, Elgin. Yo, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, man. I thought he was gonna be decent considering that like that last little romantic comedy he was in. He did a decent job, but man, this one it was probably some of the worst acting. The best acting that LeBron did in the movie is when he was a cartoon, like that. He should yes. most definitely stick to doing like Agreed. voice acting. I think he was good at that. Like that was that was good. All the IP yeah. stuff or whatever was was fun, you know. But man, I'm t <laughs> if you actually watch the scene where like they have all the people in the background, everybody just look like it looks like everybody in cosplay. It, it's, it's, it's quite <laughs> yeah. hilarious, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I guess they kind of are, right? Yeah. No, I mean, well, it's, it's absolutely cosplay. It's most it, definitely it, it cosplay. Looks, but it doesn't. It looks like. Hmm. They try to us update the costumes yeah. in all those movies, and they don't look like updates. It looks like you know, like a cosplayer outfit. It, it does, it like, like it. Authentic. No, it like they don't look like the characters at all. Like I almost would have like wanted That's them really to be weird. just uh, CGI like they got characters. All, like, all like costumes from Party City, basically. Yes, they were really bad costumes, and it was it was quite hilarious. Not good. Uh, my favorite yeah, dude was, was the dude. Like, it, was <laughs> it was funny though. I, I'm, I'm going. I'm like. <laughs> It was funny bad. It was it was so bad that it was funny. But it was also like one of them things it was just like, man, like 
Uh, if, if I was a kid, I probably would have enjoyed it, though. I'm not going to lie. Like, if I was, like, you know, some mindless, you know, whatever mess, I thought it was funny enough. But as far as, like, it being a good movie or, like, a good, like, sequel to Space Jam, horrible. <laughs> like, it was so, it well, was so bad, man. But I, I did laugh about a, co- a, a couple just, of times. Before we move on, I just want to point out to LeBron James. Where you watch it? Won the title for Cleveland in 2016. All right, goddammit. 2016, (laughs) forever. Forever. So are we going to move? I didn't say without letting me do my blurt out. Is that what we're doing? Don't move the goat. No, no, no. We're just, we're going through the circle. Don't move the goat, Mike. I just wanted to redeem uh, LeBron James just a little bit. (laughs) Did did you watch it, Mike? No, but God did the DJ champ. Did did you watch it, Mike? Did you you get a chance to watch it? Cleveland and Miami, Mike. He's okay. Good for LeBron James, you know what I'm saying? I think he'll be okay. Yeah, he'll be all right. I heard for a fact that they, um, he went to a baseball game or something like that, and then they put up the Rotten Tomato score of Space Jam. No, stop it. <laughs> That's what I mean. Don't be disrespecting That's the game. That's rude. <laughs> I think the Rotten Tomatoes right now is like 4.1. I think the Rotten Tomatoes That's is at 4.1 for the new Space Jam. Y'all niggas don't like it. It was bad. It was bad. <laughs> best best part of the movie is uh, there's a scene with Porky Pig rapping. That's all I'm going to say. Yo, that was terrible. That's all I'm going to say. I was really hoping the that was just promotional. The notorious P.I.G. Yeah. I was Listen, really that was the most that. insulting uh, shit I've ever seen. Bro, in my life. I was hoping it was just a promotional <laughs> movie, and that it wasn't going to actually be in the movie, and then it happened, and I groaned. It was oh just, man. Like, man. Like we were, like me and oh, my partner were just talking shit through the entire movie. Like, oh man. At some point, mm. but I'll wait till I, I'll wait till my blurt out to give my full thing. But like, at, uh, Elgin. I'm up, I'm passing yeah. Kenny on this one. Like, Norris, notorious P.I.G. Mm. Oh. Mm. Uh, <laughs> and that concludes your blurred out detail, okay? Yeah, man, that's all I had to talk about with this one, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's it. Let it go. Space Jam Kenny. actually still holds up. Not bad. The original. Not bad. I've still never seen him. I encourage that's you right. just that's to watch That's right. That's goddamn right. <laughs> no, it's fine. I just encourage you. I don't know. If you're ever going to watch a Space Jam, watch the first one. You can. Greatest soundtrack oh, ever. Say greatest soundtrack album ever. It actually yeah, honestly, is. Yeah, amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Spots it's because amazing. As long as you've heard the soundtrack, I don't think the movie needs to be something that's relevant. You know, as long as you know the music, mm. you're good. Dude, mm. Chris Rock sings Basketball Jones with Barry White and a duck. Oh, that's, that's it. Yeah. I mean, I'm sold. Um, speaking of, Kenny, it is time for your blurt out. DJ Lokari, thank oh, you. Blurt out. Out. Uh, I imagine you have something to say about the jams in space. So, initially, I got really stoned to watch this movie cause I, because that's what you do with something like this. You know it's not going to be mm-hmm. good. But then you don't expect what you get being mm-hmm. worse than... <laughs> Um, I'm I'm genuinely shocked that you're shocked. Well, no, I wasn't initially shocked, but then, like Elgin said, it kept going. Mm-hmm. Like it was two, two hours, hours. And forty oh minutes. God. Two hours. Mm-hmm. It was long. Yeah, it didn't need to be two hours. They tried to make that as a premise seems no, like a bad like, idea. That's the thing about the difference between Space Jam and in this Space Jam is that like this Space Jam knows that it's meta. So like LeBron James playing LeBron James as LeBron James being a dad. LeBron James. That's too much. Mm-hmm. Like the movie has really <laughs> just been about Space Jam. This was this is about LeBron James being a dad, and the opening was some of the like the opening credits was so self masturbatory. It was just basically mm-hmm. a history of LeBron's life, and it was like yo, like I don't have a problem with that. I thought it was too much. I'll watch no. a half LeBron documentary, half Yo, YouTube. No, movie. I don't have a problem with a documentary. Mike wants the propaganda. Yo, <laughs> yeah. obviously. No, it was just too long. The king. Like, no, like this, everything in this movie just went too long. Like, I don't have a problem with, with like you doing a whole setup like LeBron James, high school, whatever, but like it literally mm. went through everything LeBron James had ever done in his basketball career. And it was just like, mm. yo. Did they talk about when he won that title for Cleveland? Yeah, yeah. Get in there. Like, it didn't right. used to be. I was just making sure. No, was it was obviously sure. going to have that. Because but, but he did that in 2016. That's my thing. Like It he, was amazing. 
they could have shown that. Like, they could have just stuck to, like, showing the stuff with Cleveland and then going to L.A. and been fine. But, like, they went through everything LeBron had ever done. And it was just like, yo, okay, I, I literally watched all those moments live. So, mm-hmm. for me, it was just like, yo. Right. <laughs> yo, like, yeah, just get to the fucking movie. And then the movie well, takes here's forever. Well, the thing. Wu-Tang is for the children. That was for the next generation. No, so, Mike, so stop trying to do that. So, is this essentially like a, a historic narrative? Yo, honestly, <laughs> it was. But LeBron trying to act like act like a dad to these not his kids was the worst. Like, also, that's the other thing to, other thing to know. Here's the, th- here's, the, here's the thing that's not LeBron's fault. We've watched LeBron grow up. And right, literally. Him. So we literally don't know, yeah. know who LeBron James the person is, which is why I think the problem mm-hmm. with the narrative being so meta is that like, if, like just stick him in the Warner Brothers movie and go. The fact that mm-hmm. they had to go this route with like him versus his son in a video game is uh, just like, yo, it was not, it just, it was, okay. Have you how ever dare you son wanna be a video that, game that you expert? Have you ever like, had a dream? Yo, it was. <laughs> I did cried. you? Did you want? But did Bugs you? What? Did you? Did you, Jesus, did you? Bugs Bunny became Jesus Christ, guys. Okay. He. he That's died, bad. Died for <laughs> did they, did they crucify him? He did. They put. He died they put nails Warner through brothers. his gloves. Died, no, I'm serious. <laughs> like the whole plot is that like if LeBron loses, all of Warner Brothers IPs, like including Looney Tunes, go on like his weird ass like casket or like get deleted. Like where they are now. They in real life. So essentially, Bugs Bunny well, takes along the, all the Bugs races Bunny shit takes the out. L, and then like he rises again, like a couple days, like a whole week later. Like it literally goes like a whole week later, and like he hangs. He's like, "Hey, LeBron, I'm back." And it was just like, at that point, Ooh. my brain had exploded. <laughs> I was just I don't like, know, man. I. I, I might be sold on this. Rabbit, I, no, Jesus. it's not. You may have just made me want to watch the movie. It was, no, no, don't do it. It's, I personally welcome so our rabbit savior into it's, our lives. Like Don Cheadle was, was, even when Don Cheadle isn't trying to act, like this is how amazing Don Cheadle is oh, as an yeah, actor. Yeah, Can we talk about how you amazing Don Cap, Cheadle is? Captain Planet? That's what Yo, Don Cheadle did kill it. Like, Turn you into a fucking Elton, tree. Elton, correct, like, <laughs> Don Cheadle did Elton, kill it. Like, like, he was Don not even trying. Was, Don Cheadle clearly was just having the time of his life. Like he didn't care. Like nice. he was just hanging out, and he was still like the best part of the movie. Like he's just mm-hmm. that good of an actor. We're like Al G Rhythm to be the dumbest. I mean, it's ever. why he got nominated for, for a show, for, for, an Emmy for a show. For like he was in minutes. for like eight minutes. Seven minutes. <laughs> yeah. he was He's like, you know what? Give it to Cheadle. And Cheadle's like, I don't. Give right. it to me not. Didn't even like that's how good he is. Like because none of this Man. movie makes sense even around the fact that he's the main villain. Don like, Cheadle went straight Warner Captain Brothers Planet. Fired the moment Algae Rhythm starts taking meetings for LeBron James. Like that's the whole minute. That's the whole thing about this this movie. And I'm just like, nope, I'm out. Yes. And I, and I was there a whole Rwanda joke anywhere? In the no. Movie? Like, did they go that dark? No, but they what? made sure to go. <laughs> to, <laughs> they made like whole server Rwanda was a part of the deep was a part of Warner Brothers. <laughs> Because if it was, they might have. Like, okay. they might have done that. Because the best, the only part that I, I genuinely, like, popped for was when LeBron ended up going, skipping from, like, Warner Brothers IP. Like, when he went to Harry Potter, he went to, like, Batman and Robin. Harry which, is! Which was really fun. Like, that was actually, like, like Elden said, LeBron's at his best when he's being a cartoon character. Anything else is, like, whoa. Like, he, it was really fun watching I'm him, so like, lying. go through those. Besides that, like... The fact that they had to make, like, they had to go world to world felt like, oh, by the way, this is a Warner Brothers movie. Like, we're going to get all this shit in. Oh, yeah. Like, that, oh, that, like, the Please first hour of the movie. Super, no. Don't watch this. The first hour of the movie is just recruiting the team. Like, it's just, it is not even funny. Like, all I mean, LeBron had to recruit good. teams. It's, it makes it more meta. Yes. That was I'm going to give this movie, movie a 10 out of 10, personally. <laughs> Let me just throw that out. He he didn't recruit like the old retired mom stars. No, because Please he was not he wasn't their friends. But they did actually put the mom stars like they I felt like they cut and paste them 
into the movie. Yes, like you can they tell, took so out of photos. <laughs> they just took yeah, like some yeah, of that old photos too, and right? just kind of like like they were so shaded to like clap. It was really yeah. weird. They might as well have been a cardboard cutout. It was it was really funny yeah. looking. That was one of those they added in post and the intern did it. It was like, oh, by the way, like, you know we had the monsters here, right? We still have put them in the movie. Yeah. Uh, cut them up. But put if you're gonna if you're going to watch something like this, watch, watch it with intentions of just talking shit about it, because that's what we and my partner did, and that made mm. that made the experience twenty times more exciting. Um, but then I really, I was moved to tears when I realized there was another hour left. I <laughs> I, I was like. I, I, I shit you not, I cried yeah. two oh, hours wow. and 50 minutes in because it was still <laughs> going. Not because of anything about me. Like, I was like, I just spent almost three hours watching Space Jam. And it's like, where did my Saturday That's go? That's a lot of Space Jam to take. That's a lot of Space Jam. Nobody, yeah. just, nobody needs that in life, okay? Yeah. This is what we do for you guys, well, okay. Blurred Out Radio. Yeah, that's my blurred out. Yeah. This is what we do for there you guys, okay? Because some people need to see three hours of LeBron James. For you. Listen, DJ Hello Cardi LeBron watched Ryan. time in there. <laughs> you all sat and you all suffered through Space Jam. We will sacrifice ourselves as though we were Bugs Bunny. As though um, we were Bugs thank Bunny. You, thank you, Mike. Uh, last but not least, Dr. Moody. Me. Um, my my Moody blurred out, out about this week. My blurred out this week, gentle peoples, is um, mm-hmm. I finally watched two things that I had been avoiding. One was the Demon Slayer movie, and two was all of Jujutsu Kaisen that is currently out. And okay. I kind of fuck with it. I was <laughs> okay. avoiding it. Just kind because, of them? Well, Jujutsu Kaisen might actually be goaded, honestly. A friend of mine was a friend of mine was really pumping it up for me, so I I didn't want to watch it, and the first episode didn't capture me. But I don't know why it worked out this way. But the second episode is like ten times better than the first episode, so I had stopped watching it after the first episode since it came out. I was like, well, the first episode I wasn't really rocking with it, so I won't watch it. But now after watching it. It's probably going to be the quintessential shonen um, for our generation. Something I just found out about it, which is really cool, is the person who made it is actually our age. So this is someone who grew up watching all the anime that we watched, who likes the anime that we like, and then takes our aesthetic and cultural sort of relevance into an anime. So it's, it's like if one of us made a shonen right now, kind of that sort of flavor so Jujutsu Kaisen is really good also on um, Demon Slayer Mugen Train uh, just prepare your hearts you know if you haven't seen it prepare your heart if you have seen it you know what's you, you know you know you know it's um is it it's just it's just a Denzel and Glory tier or is it like full-on ugly cry well I just watched some other Disney Pixar movies earlier in the day so and, yeah. I, I exhausted my reservoir of tears but had i not mm-hmm. watched mm-hmm. other disney pixar movies during the day it it would have been multiple mm-hmm. thug tears not just one <laughs> <laughs> jabro s thug cried yeah thug you know 90s r&b crying okay. in the rain type type shit i feel like that needs to be an official like judgment on something <laughs> 90s R&B in the rain with your shirt off, tears. Yeah, you know, or just kicking the water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rhythmically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's real it's out here in the Thank you, Dr. Moody. There it is. Very jagged edge type shit. <laughs> well, thank you, Chip. Uh, with that said, we're going to close out our blurred out segments, and then DJ L. Ocari is going to hit you beep, 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 with beep, some beep. hits. Yes. DJ Elokari, what hits you gonna hit him with? Yeah, man. So uh, actually, this weekend was Joseph Chum's birthday, so I wanted to make sure that we had played like a track for him. Joseph you know what I'm saying? He has a song I really like. It's called Fergie. Uh, we go, we gonna play that ish, and then uh, yeah, we'll see what else is gonna end okay. up being on this list. All right. Uh, you are watching Blurred Dot Radio. Stay tuned. Our next segment uh, will be trailers. We're gonna talk about Scooby Doo and Courage. And uh, the second Mortal Kombat film. Don't miss it. Stay black.
Until, until you made the Jesus joke, I was about to be crying. I was like, I was like, because it was making me think about how. I see only red flags, red flags. Hard to take a step back, step back. Whoa, 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 whoa. You ain't acting like you miss me. Well, I just want you. Playing games, we all out here trying to grow. 
I didn't even wanna give it up, you so tasteless. I know all the bitches on your phone, they so basic. Funny that you try to play me, talking all that cake shit. We all know your pattern, homie, you stay on the same shit. Toxic dick surviving, living out your mama's basement. Embrace it, you ain't shit. I don't got the patience. Thinking that you got one on me, better think again. Fix your mouth to talk about me, I might fuck your friends. Turn your red flag to a white flag, hit you with a light jab. Hope you learn your lesson for your karma, get you right back. I won't let my blunt get sidetracked, I'm on the right path. Making moves and making money while they think they might smash. Oh, hoes trying to slide back. Don't know what to say, go get your homie, he your hype man. I see only red flags, red flags. I to take a step back, step back. Whoa. Saying. They tell us pray, but we've been praying. They tell us vote, but we've been voting. They tell us march, but we've been marching. They talk and change, but we've been talking. Get it cracking and make it happen today. These bammers black and progress, let's get them out of the way. 400 years of struggle, how long are we supposed to wait? Giving y'all solutions for problems we ain't create. All these black lives matter, bro. Whether we on the stage, in the streets, millionaires, or make a minimum wage. Get your trance, made you dance, do more than just entertain. This world ain't without us, I know you know what I'm saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying what a bitch saying. Know what I'm saying? Blur da da da. They ain't give us all, though they try. Justice for all that a lie. Fighting to live and the world till I die. Freedom is all in the mind. Yeah. Black father, black artist with a black business. Married to a black woman raising black children. Black love, black teachers sharing black thoughts. Shout out to black root, black booties, black bars. Feel the safe, but they don't guarantee my safety. Trying to rewrite history before they ask to race me. Love me when I rap and I ask for action, they hate me. Maybe they hate us because we're everything that they can't be. Tell me, was there love for us? Dirty cops on the hunt for us. System isn't just to us. Some white folks say it's just for us. School system ain't help it much truthfully they're not you're one of us black women originated every one of us fan glorious protected by rpg look past the me your mind manifested and see the real me but really this moment feel different i hope it's thick but i'm just saying what i've been saying on songs you skip listen i'm just saying i'm just saying what i've been saying they can't kill us all, though they try. Justice for all that a lie. Fighting to live and a fraud till I die. Freedom is all in the mind. Blackity, black rapidly rats for your man. This is brought to you by a black dude named Stan. I'm just saying. Freedom is all in the mind. Got them only for the price right now. Baby, I could change your life. Get it right on the first go round. Put you up on your stool. Got the pedal, I'll hold it down. Come with me tonight. Hidden curves all in my town. Cause I love you, love you, girl, love you, girl, love. Fuck you, fuck you, girl, fuck you, girl, fuck. Love you, love you, girl, love you, girl, love. Blur, da, 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 da,
could have said okay Read it from my lips But you won't forget I know you wanna be Right next to me Playing with the queen Move it carefully Let us save it You could have said okay Read it from my lips But you won't forget They say it ain't no nigga like her they say it ain't no nigga like a They say it ain't no Blurred nigga already, like a back shot back after this. nigga Ain't no king like the south side king Shout it drip on lake She my east side thing With some north side baddies who like the west side swing That mean I stay on my pivot whenever she come to visit Don't wanna make her too livid She bout that life and she live it Done bout my work so I give it The 110 fuck a scrimmage Y'all talking practice with a atlas See your way out my village You niggas AI Artificial and I'm AI So official with the brain Heavy lay, fuck a fade, oh I slay Less concerned with accolades, lesson learned is all charades More concerned with getting paid and making change with what I say Cause it ain't no nigga like a shot town nigga Ain't no king like the south side king If you ain't no, you gon' find out my nigga Cause when I come around, they talking about one thing That it ain't no nigga, no it ain't no They say it ain't no nigga, no it ain't no They say it ain't no nigga, no it ain't no because it ain't no nigga that a date no Unique's an understatement, I'm so overstanding by ain't no complacent So adjacent to the promised land, I'm saying no to patience Tired of waiting, contemplating, self-degrading, self-debating Leo said they'll try to make you quit or sell your soul to Satan But you haven't seen, so don't die, 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 die. split yourself in half a fame of class You got what they wish they had, bro, the world is in your grasp So don't break, don't miss the glass, just keep right foot on the gas And the left one up they ass, yes My niggas got me when I'm down, if I'm tweaking know myself they be like let me fix your crown i know who you truly is it's part of who you let surround so i only be with iron we the sharpest squad you found out the hard way from cabrini hallways to projects that they all play from a bucket boy out on stony up the broadway now you quest love but you did this shit all way and so they all say hey that it ain't no nigga like a shot town hey that it ain't no nigga no they say it ain't no nigga like a shot town They say it ain't no nigga no They say it ain't no nigga like a They say it ain't no nigga no They say it ain't no They say it ain't no They say they say they say they say they say it ain't no nigga like a shot town nigga Ain't no king like the south side king If you ain't no you gon' find out my nigga Cause when I come around they talking about one thing That it ain't no nigga, no it ain't no They say it ain't no nigga, no it ain't no They say it ain't no nigga, no it ain't no Because it ain't no nigga, no it ain't no Mix. watching blurred dot radio <laughs> uh dj elokari just hit you with some hits dj elokari what hits did you hit yo man so we started off with a, a music video by your boy joseph chalms um that name of that video was called mm -hmm. fergie like fergalicious like fergie dirty murgy and all that kind of like stuff like my homes Yes, like my humps. Fergie what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Dirty Murky? Murky like Fergie. You, you know what I'm saying? It's a real okay. thing. Uh, then we yeah. fell off Murky. with a know? song called Red Flags by <laughs> Mel. You can find her online under the illest melody. And then we heard What I'm Saying She's by Substanti. Uh, sorry, Substanti. By Substantial. <laughs> shout mm -hmm. out to Substantial. Also, also, shout out to Substantial. He was at Blurcon. Huh? Yeah, I was just about to say that. I saw you actually yeah. ended up performing. I saw him and I was like, oh shit, Substantial. Did you catch his performance? No, oh, yeah. So he, I did. Okay, good. Yeah, because he knows. Even though that was one I bit the ear off of an edible, and I was stuck to that chair for like 
six hours. Mike Tyson, that maybe shit. not yeah. six hours. That, that's like, that's real. That that was yeah, that's a that was a whole thing right there. I was like, I just nibble this little bit. No, Mike just, Stidham Tyson. Yeah, man. That that's um. There you go. That's real. It's real out here. Um. Then we heard uh, <laughs> "Good Good" by Jim Tree. Shout out to Jim Tree. And then "Ain't No" by Matt Muse. All those artists are really dope. So please go check out their music because they raw. Yeah. For sure. Well, thank you, DJ. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's time for trailers. Oh yeah, hold on a second. What was that? Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have two lovely trailers for you all tonight. Uh, the first is for another Mortal Kombat animated movie that I did not take the time to learn the name of. Uh, the, the other, the actual tournament for is Scooby Doo encouraged. It's called the actual tournament. I don't know. I was just gonna call it the actual tournament. Mortal Kombat, the actual tournament. Yeah, because. Uh, yeah. well, then we're gonna talk about. There it is. Uh, then we're gonna talk about Courage the Cowardly Dog and Scooby Doo. Mortal Kombat. Uh, Jax yeah. dies first. <laughs> <laughs> did he die? He died in the last yeah, one. Well, Jax did get his. He got them arms ripped. Did he die? He didn't die. They, they just ripped him yeah, arms. He got, Yo, he got did you know, and this is one of the, and I'll, I'll get into this just before we show the trailer. Uh, this won't take long. The Originally, his arms didn't get torn off. He just put cyborg arms over his arms. Whatever. The white man decided. <laughs> he had to get him ripped off. Let's do some suffering. So white man alert. There you go. <laughs> Are we starting out with this one? Uh, one we on that note, DJ Lokari, if you hit us with the clip. Which one? You didn't tell me which one. This, that, that one Mortal Kombat one. Okay, that's good. Mortal Kombat, he got hands. <laughs> I'm, dead. <laughs> I'm dead. Yeah, I like it. Quirk, hands. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. And then click the button. It looks, it looks like an animated video. I didn't do it on it. It certainly does. That's yeah. uh, that Shao Kahn. When you pulled out yeah. the hammer, I got a little mad. Uh, that, like, 13 year old rage. I was getting <laughs> hit with that hammer over and over again by Shao Kahn. <laughs> That's funny. I fucking hate Mortal Kombat. The game, mm -hmm. honestly. Uh, it's not Street Fighter. Yeah, it's not. It's not even. It's not what I want to play. It's not even Tekken. Tekken is yeah, yeah. way better. Yeah. Yeah, I'd much rather play Tekken. You know, so all of you are trying to play Guilty Gear Strive. That's what you mean. Oh, no, I, no, I, I refuse to play Guilty uh, Gear against anybody I, who yeah, wants I to play not, Guilty Gear. People who play Guilty Gear don't just like fighting games. They like live that life. And we I, love fighting <laughs> games. Yeah. I, I'm here for a good time. I have Guilty Gear, one of them. It's, well, I say I'll watch you play Guilty Gear. Like I'm it's here, good but I'm for here you. to have a good time. Strive like, is for you. Wait, it's a good time. It's a good time. No, oh, thank you. Is I Guilty Gear like spades? Is this? Are we saying that um, our, will actual fight start over Guilty Gear? No, no, no it's just only I, fun. Oh no, man! If you use, if you use, uh, Doctor, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, <laughs> the guy that does the booty thing. Yeah, yeah. If you, if you use him, like, and then you open up the suitcase and the nuke bomb comes out or whatever, I I'm pissed. Ah, oh, I forgot about the nuke bomb. <laughs> yeah, I'm pissed. That's I, 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 I might oh, actually throw like you after that. <laughs> Guilty Gear is just one of those weird ass games. I just, I'm just not good at playing. And I, everybody, I, oh, yeah. I know, everybody I know who, who plays it is actually extremely good at it. It's just like, I, mm -hmm. no, I don't want to play against you. Like, they'll thank you. <laughs> we can play Smash. What's it called? Or what, what, what realm are they fighting for? I still have Legends. Uh, the Shadow uh, Mortal Kombat all of Legends, them. Battles of they find, the They're fighting for all them realms. realms. Is it not the Nether Realm? I don't Shadow know. Shadow Realm. One of them realms. Nilfenheim. So they all went to hell. They're fighting for the Nelson Mandela realms. At this point, I don't care. Get over here. Get over here. Uh, yeah, will I watch this? Not, not, not on purpose. Not before I watch something else. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll, we'll have to meet somebody in Gary, Indiana, because I'd be able to look good. Oh, well, we got some Indianimals up in here? Indianimals? Yeah, I'm with it. Indianimals, that's a good one. No, not Indianimals. 
I am not um, an idiot. <laughs> yeah, this is a that's a no for me, bro. Uh, Steve, nope. what do you think? Uh, no, I'm de I'm totally gonna to watch this. I, I love a good car movie uh, at this point. I think the last yeah. one wasn't bad. Yeah. Have you seen the last one? No, I haven't seen the last one. Live action? Really? No, the last cartoon was. Uh, oh, I haven't seen there any more combat animated movies. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, I, I didn't. Yeah, Honestly, I just found out I can uh, allegedly boom like movies onto my TV. Uh, so uh, <laughs> I'm, I, I'm like, I'm Steve, down to watch like whatever you. now, bro. Thank I you. like you. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna text later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's I'm ways around all this. Right. Uh, and again, allegedly. Uh, allegedly. See, we, we would never. Yeah. We what? I don't even Watching know. Watching bootlegs that have random I advertisements. I ESPN. <laughs> I'm an American <laughs> citizen. I pay. Yeah. I pay my taxes. Meet singles in your area. Um, <laughs> <laughs> random Russian uh, uh, online casino commercials in the middle of the shit you So are. hard. You won't last five <laughs> seconds during this game. <laughs> <laughs> What? That guy fucking the woolly man what? in the picture. Like, what? what? Why would not last? <laughs> What's happening here? Uh, DJ, why would it party. not last? <laughs> Five seconds later. Demonetize. Demonetize. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, I, in all honesty, man, first off, I just got to say they gave my nigga Jax his arms, baby. Let's go. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, I'm going to watch this stupid shit. Come on, man. It's a car. Man, come on. Animated. But you did watch uh I watched uh, Tom and Jerry, man. Right? You know what I mean? I watched Tom and Jerry. I'm gonna watch this. It's all good. It's gonna get watched. Did, you know what I mean? Did you watch Scorpion's Revenge? Yes, I most definitely did. Scorpion's Revenge, they should have honestly the movie I think should have just did Scorpion's Revenge. Like they just do the whole whatever. Where is the mic? Uh but do I am glad homie, to see that they're continuing. Do the homie. Do the homie. <laughs> but no, no man, I, I'm 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 down for this. That was good bonding experience, guys. Thank you. Yeah, man. <laughs> but no, I'm down to watch this. Uh, the, the, it's very violent. I'm glad to see that they actually got the budget to do another one. Cause uh, if they would have ended with Scorpion's Revenge, I thought it would. Then I would have said that last movie was trash. But since they are going to continue it, and I'm, you know, I'm down to watch the next little bit. It was unoffensive. It was nice animation. The fight scenes were decent and everything. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm here for it. Is it is it animated by the same dudes who did um, Batman versus Ninja Turtles? Because it looks like it. I was thinking the same thing. Probably. It's Warner Brothers as well. Also, too. Uh, why weren't they in Space Jam? They should have been in Space yeah. Jam. Just saying. I don't know. Uh, why were the people from Clockwork Orange Listen, in Space Jam? They were, every, all the villains were sitting Real. on one side of the of the court. So they were Mommy, villains. who are the people so with the cock pieces yeah, in the like front? There's like cartoon villains, and then there's that old ultraviolet. Like, saying, man. Yeah. I don't understand putting them in. Because there. everybody's was, in the Warner Brothers. That was, was kind of why I thought there would be a Hotel Rwanda. Yeah, that's because everything Like, if you're going to put them in there, you might as well go Hotel all the way Rwanda dark. owned by Warner Brothers right oh. now. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, but they, they could have mentioned it. <laughs> no, that they would ruin the joke. That would ruin the... They did as many jokes as they could about LeBron, though. You could have uh, just sure uh, made sure there's made a blood joking. diamond in there somewhere. I'm sure there's a blood diamond in there. Yeah. Of course, gotta be. Yeah. Well, anyway, I'm, I'm down to watch this. This um, looks good. I mean, I don't care. Like, okay. even it's a cartoon. I'm gonna watch it. Stupid. I'm watching it. And they got my nigga Jax with his uh, cyber arms, baby. So you know I gotta support my nigga Jax. Thank you, DJ Lucario. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny. What you got for it? I have to admit, I have not actually been watching a lot of uh, animated films lately. Um, so I don't think I'll. This is gonna make me want to watch. Was it because One Piece uh, took all your animation room, room in your brain? Yes, and also I caught up. Wait, you're one of those episodes. One Piece persons? I am. God I bless you. Up. And I actually caught up He's to the, the one piece here. Wait, 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 wait. Can you I please? I caught up to the current episode, too. I'm actually up. up hey, man. To the... It's only one in the marathon. It, it is. is. I did it in a year. It, it all took was a pair of. Uh, uh, um, 
A global pandemic? Global pandemic. <laughs> yeah. I had lots of time on my hands. So, you know, I laughed, I cried, I yelled, I cheered, I cried again. And now, <laughs> One Piece is about the family we made along the way. So, <laughs> it's about family. It's about family. It's, it's about like family. going to the Olive Garden. I'm anime dead. style. I'm dead. Because when we're here, we're about family. And pirates. Or like unlimited breadsticks? Come on, yeah, girl. that too. It's That's real. what it's like being yeah. the Luffy the monkey. It's real out here in these unlimited streets. Unlimited breadsticks. <laughs> is, is he an anyway, ultimate pirate yet? Or like no, when does no, he's he a not, Super Saiyan pirate? Uh, no, how does, how does that work? So is he, he a, he, a devil he, fruit yet? You know, he, he already ate his devil he, he just keeps evolving with it. Vegeta him. hit a new form and nobody can tell the difference because it's in the manga. Uh, <laughs> the saying. one where they, the one that's like the Susano, where he turns into a giant energy thing. No, he looks like it's just I like saw that it, in Dragon Ball Super. It, it looks like he put on an earring or something. Hmm. That seems like so, Dragon Ball. So fusion Luffy. No. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Don't do that to Luffy. He doesn't need a fusion. He's his own man. Yeah, you got to give up nobody to be uh, Wow, Elgin, I'm fusing with myself over here. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Sir. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm probably not going to I'm probably not gonna watch Mortal Kombat, though. But I, I got to go this other way. way. Only because uh, now that I'm done catching up with One Piece, I do want to watch <laughs> Judicial Kaisen, and I do want to catch back up. Do it. Yeah, hold on. I'm definitely doing that. And I, and I want to get reacquainted with a whole bunch of other, like, anime. Like, I actually yeah. kind, I kind of got lost in the sauce on watching all the one piece like i really enjoy watching one piece from start to things like that Mercy. but i i really did not watch i did not watch anything else for it when it came to like anime besides that well golden boy but that was because i just needed a break that's the guy on the bike right yeah that hey guys we're that. way but no no i'm sorry now, I, I, know we were I, no, I was bringing it back just saying, we're down but, in lower whacker right now yeah, <laughs> i'm just saying that like I, I spend way too much time watching other stuff that Mortal Kombat's very low on the totem pole even though i do have hbo yeah, max so like i, I absolutely can watch it at some point but like it's not there immediately but you flatly refused uh, it no i think i'd rather watch the batman when you guys recommend it to me the batman. Batman. some of the batman animation movies and, and oh the movies. son of the dragon one yeah i think yeah. I'd batman watch uh the last movie. son of the dragon honestly like, well, what's what Glow. i'd rather watch next about warner brothers or DC, whatever so yeah i'll pass on this yeah uh, sorry tripping, i did go up for the tangent but i was bringing it back <laughs> oh come on kenny you was nope a, you know this is a wednesday night movie come on doubt <laughs> they trying to see uh, your nigga jacks with his arms yeah. <laughs> you really he should have got diamonds in those arms. Just saying, man. That, he should have hit up uh <laughs> who's the guy that does Paul Wall's grills? Paul Wall, uh, doesn't he? You know that. Is it Johnny uh, Dang or something? Johnny, uh, Johnny, 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 Johnny Dang. Yeah. Johnny Dang needs to do Jax's arm. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> uh Dr. Moody. Yes. Yes. How do you feel? I want to watch it. I want to watch it. I hope that how bad I hope that there is some hyper violence in it. I think I would welcome some of that, you know, like a, some of that. Um, some throat, rips. throat rips, you know, like sternum chopping. That's what that stuff. About. Yeah, yeah. Good night, everybody. I'm with that when it's animated. I'm, yeah. I'm into it a little bit. So For sure. if it's Mortal Kombat, I think that's the brand of action that I want to see. And if they hope to deliver, mm -hmm. or if they're going to deliver on that, then I'm with it. <laughs> uh, I have no problems watching saying, that movie together. Hey, man, we're going to we're gonna make, we're gonna make it out of this. Leaving? They're going to no, go get food. They'll be right back. But Elgin... We can oh, only okay. watch it. We can only watch it together if we snuggle. Bit. <laughs> All right, cool. Big game. Yeah, big, big game. snuggle. Does, does Elgin get to be the big spoon? Of course. Look at his muscles. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm doing it for my nigga Jackson. I'm arms, baby. Mr. AKA Jackson DJ himself. anti sleeves. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
Gotta work with what you got. It's Let's funny see. because I don't even know what Elgin's arms look like in sleeves because yeah, I yeah. haven't seen them in sleeves for I can't the remember. 12 plus years I've known this guy. So. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> like Tim has went time, through the, the, the vest uh, stages. Well, it's like the vest on top of yeah, other it's vest, though. So yeah, it's, it's like they, yeah. they'll put a vest on top of whatever sleeves he does have. Too. So it still <laughs> register yeah. as like Absolutely. no sleeves. I forgot I used to call you Pastor Vest when you were walking. <laughs> <laughs> the visiting like, pastor. Yeah. Your man really yeah. does stay right, sleepless. Man. I didn't. Yeah. I yeah, never I just, considered I, that. But like yes. Yeah, I always I say, hashtag always stay, stay, stay sleepless. Yeah, the man. Vest. Hot. Like, Elgin, you absolutely make it work, man. Like it's totally like your your you know. Elgin, you gotta get like a a tat vest, like full vest, no sleeve <laughs> tattoo, ah! just all vest. Like Yaku is kind of rough. Tattoo. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, it's a real yeah, thing. Yeah, that that'd be pretty cool. You know what though? I, I think I get it from Mortal Kombat though, because my nigga Liu Kang also don't be wearing sleeves either, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like my nigga just look at him, no sleeves, all up in it, about to beat that Shao Kahn ass. I don't think you wear Come on well, now. In, in, in Mortal Kombat 2, he wore the vest, and actually that I, that's I would argue that's he did that's wear the vest in Mortal Kombat 2. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was mad when 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 Come on, man. That was actually his vest. Come on, man. I'm trying to defense. level up like my nickel, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to level up. Okay. Feel he me? was boring as hell, and then we had stuff pants in one. I'm trying to test my well, mind. Well, he was supposed to be Bruce Lee, sleeves. like every other. Oh, 90s, that's right. He uh, was supposed to be character. Bruce Lee. That first one, it was blatant. Like it was, <laughs> it was just. They like. But it was so terrible. I didn't yeah. associate it with it until like I saw a reaction, like reading bio in the actual arcade. It was like, oh, that's what he's supposed to be. You, could you imagine that Bruce was supposed Lee. to be Bruce Lee versus John Claude Van Damme? from uh, Big Trouble Little China. Uh, yeah. But it is 846. We're going to go into another DJ L. Okari musical mix. DJ L. Okari is going to hit you with some hits. DJ L. Let's Okari go. with hits. You're going to hit him with them. Yeah, man. So uh, I got another music video I'm about to show you. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, this one is called ICY by uh, an artist by the name of Icy. We gotta get back in the studio so we can play trade. Right yeah, now. man. Um... <laughs> I immediately thought ice, ice back, and then remember DJ Lokari's vanilla ice rinse every week. Come on, man. Uh, but you know we can we can do a version of that where everybody just gets a card and then we have to argue for that card. It's a possibility. We can. Like you yeah, pick the yeah. card, you tell us what our card is, and we have to like you know argue for it. You know what I mean? I don't know. But also, Ooh. this song is featuring uh, my girl first. Mel, uh, and Mango, and it's produced by the homeboy uh, DJ Earn Money. DJ Earn Money. Uh, yeah, so that's what's about to be playing and all that. You know what I'm saying? Are you frozen? No. All right. Uh, you are watching Blurred Dot Radio. Me? Oh. You're watching Blurred Dot. Oh, my connection is unstable. It's okay. You're good. We, we can hear you now. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, we'll be back uh, with another trailer. Uh, we're gonna do shots. You're watching Blurred Dot Radio, uh, featuring Chip Moody. We will return after this.
I don't know if anybody <clears throat> realized this, but there's no music. The sound isn't playing on the Twitch channel. No, I'm just telling you this now. Mike, there's the music isn't being heard on Twitch. I don't know if anybody can hear me say that, but <clears throat> or if Elgin's nearby. So if you ain't been introduced to the most dynamic hip hop duo of all time, <gasps> not to shit on anybody, but we just gotta get to you how it is and what it shall always be. But if you're not prepared for this, I I hope you are holding on to your seat and and, and to take all of this in because we about to knock your face. I doubt it. To the fifth dimension. Go. We ain't got no limits to this vision. We evolve. Who you trying to mimic? This is different than your eyes.
state we living in is critical. Yeah, we don't know. Who's the real criminal? Uh, and I'm not trying to be political, but we don't know. Who's the real criminal? Yeah, the state we living in is critical. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah, check the real Rhetorical, the answer is in plain sight. Seek the truth like the oracle. We in the same fight. They trying to lock us up and throw away the key. Don't want to see us spitting rhymes. Don't want to see us making beats. Peace to the family and all those in the streets. Who got one hand up when they march for the deceased? Don't confuse who the bullet hit and those who choose to squeeze. The victim ain't a criminal when he's screaming. I can't breathe. Some say that it is quite fine. Look closer and you might find a school to prison pipeline that darkens up the skyline. The CCA stock trade at 38 a pop. Yo, you better watch your back or that 38 will pop. And the dirty cop will go and say it's something that you're not. It's not supposed to be like this. It's something we forgot. But I'm trying to make it pass. Make decisions that will last. Yeah. And change the course of history oh. I'm never looking back yeah. like This isn't meant to be political But the state we live in it is near and critical This isn't meant to be political But the state we live in it is near and critical This isn't meant to be political But the state we live in it is near and critical This isn't meant to be political the land of the free, we demand we be free It's the land of the immigrants, but I'm the one that gotta leave The economy is falling like some autumn leaves Only free will seems to live inside of me Sleeping through the lines of my own hardest street Promise to make a rain so we can all harvest seeds Half of S logic, but I'm hardly giving college My lyrics stay polished like the truth if you honest But it's hard fighting lawless, slaying godless Inside of these grand walls of gauntlet The enemies are haulers of the break into your apartment, serving up your family, insanity, babies behind bars, like where the fuck's humanity, lock you up to deport, some even die in detour, detains a further notice, heists are the criminals, they worry about some quotas, hypocrites of paper cause they pitted for controllers, spending taxpayer money, harassing taxpayers, water rich, rack money, milking taxpayers, one in twelve, who should now will ask later, government, see selling for another fat favor, who the real criminal, 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 kicking in through the motherfucking door. Criminal, criminal, kicking in through the motherfucking door. Police versus Milo, just criminals versus criminals. Had the battle systems to turn us into these criminals. From a city where killing might be the only thing they know. At least that's what others told me when I went way out across the globe. Outside looking in, that's what I had to do for this first approach. Keep it hunted with y'all and talk about shit we need to expose. Like it's no like goofy without the truth, ain't real pictures, bro. Read between the lines, boy, these notebooks is tales of fallen ghosts. All you know from textbooks and TV screens and your mirror smoke. Pointing fingers at thugs when the real thugs is all political. Police to the mayor, the clansmen, and all them other ones. I can speak gently, cause that shit probably apply to all of them Regardless of the title, corruption and all the shit you trust Think a little harder where all the real damage coming from Man behind the gavel was bound to have more the power Than the man behind the pistol, so lock clocks my final hours Who's, who's the, the real? Hey, 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 they'll say who's the real criminals? Who's the real? Who's the real? Who's the real criminals? Never see eye to eye, so lately we lead the blind. There's a secret to the sequence. I hated the departure without a reason. New whips, new cribs, start breathing. All these squares, da, da, da. just nobody Three. with me. Tried to mix toxic impurity, that Bobby and Whitney. Always felt like we both had to ask if you still with me. I ain't be preaching and all. You tried to speak with me without all these feelings involved. And one fix can solve it all. Being honest and transparent, I would hate if liberty done grew up with some cold parents. Reminiscing the breakup was necessary. Seeing things different, I'm a young visionary, a brave entrepreneur. Just be, we were heaven in our eyes, so tell me what you believe. Wish we could all take it back, reverse the call like a referee. I've been a long road. Sometimes I 
Sometimes I be needing some company. Sometimes I be needing some company. I've been on a long road. Sometimes I be needing some company. Sometimes I be needing some company. Some company. The chandelier beautiful when the sun sets. 713, the glass views are the best. You still hit me for the time to invest. Forgive them, still tat on my chest. Family tatted on my forearms. Even with four arms, you couldn't reach me. I know myself well, nothing professors couldn't teach me. I done skipped college to acknowledge the better. Now I know when I do better than anyone, it's whatever. Insecurities when my phone rings. You still handle your self esteem, little Blue that radio will be right back right Couple after years this. Ago, you just witnessed a different me. Cold hearted like I need to be. Don't lie to me saying that you be needing me. When your prescription don't even know what you see in me. Turns out everything what it seems to be. Sometimes I've been needing some company. Sometimes I've been needing some company. I've been on a long road. Sometimes I've been needing some company. Sometimes I've been needing some company. Some company. And we're back. What's up, everybody? You're watching Blurred Dot Radio. Bam. DJ Alokari just graciously hit you with some hits. DJ Alokari with hits that you graciously hit. Yo, man, so we just started you off with a music video called Icy. Um, like, I see why. Like, I see why. You know what I'm saying? I, get, I got it once the song start playing. Like, what the meaning of the song was all about. Like, I... I see why they be hating, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we and then we hit you off with a baby. Uh, what was up? The last song that played was called um, Company. That was by Urban Royalty. And then the last track, let me see if I can pick it. I missed it. That's all right. And then we heard. I don't know. Yeah. Was you ready? Take your time, Basil. Sorry. Hold on, somebody. Let me find mm-hmm. it. And then we heard Hands Off by Mother Nature. That's right. Mm -hmm. We heard Hands Off by Mother Nature. And then the last song we played was uh, Criminals. And that's a song off of Kabashi's album. But it's featuring Malo, um, Monotone, and uh, Mike Specs, which are all members of Elephant Rebellion, man. So that's who that that last track was featuring. All the squad. Very good. Squad. 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 Well, thank you, DJ Hello, Curry. Uh, it is that time. Oh, us. shit, we got my lord, baby. I actually poured one today. Hey, there it is. Uh, I'm going to tell you something that I'm very, very proud to say. I posted a picture on Instagram of all the Malort bottles that I brought to BlurCon, uh, graciously gifted to us by CH Distillery. Uh, it was one, two, three, four, He's five, six, show. seven, eight, nine, and a big bottle. Uh, all ten of those bottles gone. All of you animal. <laughs> That's right. We drink. That's right. Oh. Well, now, now all the things that happen. Honestly, it all makes sense now. It's true. <laughs> it was off that one, Lord. Uh, <laughs> off that Lord, baby. I blame off the, that Lord. Off that Lord. Anytime baby. that like trap nerds was interviewing somebody and like lost train of thought, that was like it was the Lord. Just blame it yeah. on the Lord. Blame it on the Lord. Blame it on the Lord, Lord. On the Lord baby. Uh, so folks, what we are going to do as soon as we're all uh, ready for it. Libated. We are all proper live at dude. This cup is a, this is like the largest shot cup. It's Malort. You don't know about Malort? Oh, really? Oh, it's a, a, it's it's a very special uh, Chicago go. alcohol. Yes. <laughs> it's a dark it's a white Malort. It's a wonderful chip of the white people play on all of us, and we brought it to you. Mm-hmm. 
it's it's made here. It's gross, but it's it's an experience. But it's delicious. It's not. It's delicious. It tastes like. It tastes good. Yo, there were definitely two people. There were two people I gave shout outs to. Shout out to OT at Blurred and Whiskey. His lady did a shot and just looked at us like, why are you staring at me? Uh, and uh, Popcorn you know the Zombie of Trap Nerds just was, I, I brought little plastic flasks because I thought I was going to have to sneak alcohol in. Huh. We didn't have to. Uh, he downed the whole thing. It was like, all right, what it's else good are we for you, man. I have a sophisticated like palate. He's I can great. tell you it tastes just... honestly like grapefruit, rinds, and old peppermint candy together. It's, it's delicious. Oh, you forgot the grass clipping shit. <laughs> that part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, as soon as I, I raised my cup to do the toast, and then DJ Elokari scooted up. All right, we all ready? Is you, it that you time? Back with it. Is it that time? All right. Yeah, it's that time. Uh, the toast goes. Well, first, go down to CH Distillery, buy yourself some Malort. Thank you, Yo, and thank you, Matt. Yo. Uh, and I believe Tremaine. Uh, we met, me and DJ Alokari met the staff. Uh, we got to tell them about how we were going to take care of uh, Head down there. Get yourself some Malort. They also have all types of other alcohol. Don't let the Malort scare you away. Yeah. Um, do it. Do it. Go down to their uh, go to their two locations. The bourbon waitress. is actually really good. I ain't going to lie. Almost do definitely. Good. So experience. We're gonna do the toast that uh, I took from E40 on the breakfast club. The breakfast club. The go. Pineapples, yo. I'm not above you. Not above you. I'm not below you. Yes, sir. I'm right here with you. Cheers, guys. Uh-oh. I just drank water. <laughs> That's the first time I've not done the shot of my lord. You caught me pissing bastard. This <laughs> 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 tastes a lot like tequila. No, no. You Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> tequila tastes yummy. You Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> tequila tastes like fighting. <laughs> Woo! Tequila, tequila tastes like that one free phone call you get for bail. Damn. Um, like violence. There you go. So we still have another trailer to talk about. So that trailer is for the long-awaited. For the long-awaited uh, crossover. 20 years in the making. The dogs 40 of years, four. baby. Has uh, it been 40 years? It's not been 40 years. the dog. What's that? You got to get up on your microphone. I, I said it, it's not. It has most definitely not been 40 years now. Shit. I ain't that old. Heard hmm. old. Carrot's old as fuck, but, well, you know. Scooby's damn near not a millennial. Hey, like, I didn't Scooby's say not a millennial. Courage is 20 years. Scooby's a general yeah, yeah, Scooby out there. 20 years. <laughs> He, he might have voted red if you, you, you know, you feel me. <laughs> he might have been that. in a grunge Don't rock. Don't do that today, tell him. Be real. Hey, I, I didn't say I had a problem with it. I'm just saying that's probably where he voted. <laughs> uh, so, folks, we're going we're gonna to watch the trailer. For Scooby. What's the official name of this thing? Uh, it's just called Sco- uh, <laughs> Straight Out of Nowhere. Ah, yeah, yeah. Scooby-Doo, he's See what they did there? Also, um, in the last segment, we did not give any details about the Mortal Kombat uh, movie. It's a Mortal Kombat movie. Because there too. aren't any. Uh, it says it will come out later this summer. That's the official yeah. word. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah. Um, but we'll give you more details about out of nowhere after DJ L.O. Cardi gets you with the clip. I like how you said Cardi. Like, I was DJ L.O. Cardi B. Hit you Let's with those it. clips. I was also turning my head. Yeah. I drank a lot of it this weekend. Yeah. Bang. Aww. He found a little courage. You <laughs> get it. I was hoping the monsters would be courage esque monsters. Uh, and why does Daphne have a Harley Quinn? Yeah. One eye is way bigger than the other. I wonder if Doc Gerbil will make an appearance. (laughs) (laughs) 
Was that when the uh no wait, what was the duck's name? Lequack. Uh, the duck's Le-quack. name was Lequack. Kiss Kisse. Kiss Kisse. <laughs> <laughs> There's nowhere to run. That, uh, the insects are my mom calls crazy sizes here. Is is a a Barbara is, is designed to be proposed for a And nowhere to hunt. Pizzerizer, a cheese pizzera. That barber. We're getting deep into that now. Yeah, We're he's definitely a, a cheese pizzera. Dun, dun, dun. I tell yeah, you, it's goddamn. Good. He was out there with Epstein. Naughty. Very, very naughty. naughty. There you go. Mike got it. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm beardless. Why were there two? Uh... Oh, because that's Eustace. Eustace is Where up. is Eustace in this? Yeah. Eustace was not in enough for this trailer. Eustace that's is probably okay. dead. Fuck Eustace. This was great. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. Stupid oh, dog. Yeah. He's like the red form. You got to understand, it's legal in 14 states now. <laughs> <laughs> is this coming on the Sci Fi channel? Yeah, apparently. Yeah, that's what it's looking oh. like right now. Yeah, I'm going to watch this. <laughs> okay. Well, let's, uh, let's go in order. Uh, first, Chip Moody, what do you think of this one? Uh, I think the trailer looks horrible, but I would love to watch it. It doesn't really, look like a good trailer. I really no. want to watch it. I mean, Courage the Cowardly Dog should be can- canonical horror, actually. Yes. It's, um, it's, it it's exceptional. It's excellent. It's amazing. <laughs> so even if it's only 50% of the show, you know, that, that means like the worst it could be is a 40. You know, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel you. I agree. Yeah, be real. I agree. Uh, it was definitely so, a very uniquely twisted show. Also, uh, I want to apologize for anybody that's uh, trying to hear the sound of the videos. For some odd reason, I don't know what happened, but they're they're acting mm-hmm. weird. So go watch your. Uh, oh, so there there was actually no audio. In yeah, there was no there. audio again. Yeah, there was no audio. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, yeah, but uh, it was just. Courage voice, you know, if you was wondering what that sounded like, you know what I'm saying? It was courage probably voice. Went, ah, at some point, it was making that, that shit, you know, like if you need it here, I got you. I got you. It, it's it was like this. Oh, mm. now you got to do the Scooby Doo oh, speech. And yeah, you know what I mean? There you go. That, that's basically what it was. That was a lot better than I was expecting. Hey, man, that's not bad. <laughs> that was a decent uh, Scooby Doo impression. Hey, man, you know, I do my hey. thing sometimes, every once in a while. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, but that's, Chip, this is a two thumbs. Oh, definitely. I'm 100% going to see it and enjoy it. Even though, I mean, you know, Scooby and the gang, we fuck with them a little bit, but it's Scooby or Courage, I'm, I'm definitely Team Courage. But since it's a collab, I got to support the boy. There it is. I appreciate that, uh, that review. Uh, thank you, Chip Moody. Kenny, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog and Scooby Doo were two of my favorite cartoons. Like, mm-hmm. even in my stoner teenage adult years. I just wanted to point always... out Scooby and the gang never called the cops, they never got the fuzz involved. Yeah, also, yeah, they always, yeah, they did that shit their own. They were community justice, community justice in <laughs> action. Yo, like they always had, to, um, and it was always no against future. rich white men. <laughs> like, don't forget, they took mm-hmm. down white crawler criminals like all the time. Like everybody mm-hmm. that was like doing some fucked up shit in the financial institution. And these yeah. white folks yeah. is out there with a dog. Like, yo, fuck the cops, mm-hmm. we do this ourselves, and yeah, it worked. <clears throat> and then they got the high school time for Street going. justice, baby. baby, baby. Sure so, so now they got courage. It's like finally, like. We went through the Adams Family, mm-hmm. Batman and Robin. There were some singers. Weren't there some WWE? Uh, yeah, there was a WWE. John Cena and yeah, John, John Cena, Cena was on one. Whole, I'm like, not sure why, but it was there. a thing. So Most like, was Cowboy Courage deserves this. So good on Courage. So I'll be there watching. You right now. Thank you for that review, Kenny. You're welcome. Uh, DJ L. Okari, what do you think of this one? Yeah, man, I think often when they do these matchups, uh, the question always answers is like, Why? 
You know, you always wonder like why, why bro? like why would you put these people together? Now I put the spoon in the tuna. You know what I mean? Like I, it was me. You know what I'm saying? I put the screw in the tuna. I'm sorry. I'll never turn down You're welcome. You're welcome, everyone. But in all honesty, man, you know what I mean? Like when it comes to this particular movie, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sometimes when you put two people together, <laughs> two <laughs> talking <laughs> dogs, <laughs> one of them got courage, <laughs> one of them like food. <laughs> they both hang out <clears throat> with weird white people. <clears throat> one is smoke a little bit of that, <clears throat> and one is just scared of everything. I think <clears throat> that you just might <clears throat> have a match made in heaven. Come on, somebody. I said you might <laughs> just have <clears throat> a match made in heaven <clears throat> in this thing. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. I don't think y'all hear me. I don't think y'all ready. <laughs> Come on, somebody. <laughs> but yeah, man, I think this is this is a perfect this is a perfect match. You know, like Courage and Scooby, like and honestly, Scooby kind of scary too, bro. Like as in like <laughs> he be scared of a lot of shit too. So I but the not creeper. You know what's scary is when when they defy physics and everybody runs out of a different room, and like into one that they didn't run out of. What, but imagine Courage that being would like me in real life. I'm just saying, imagine Courage being scared of that shit. Like, what are you coming from? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Anyway, I think it's great. I can't wait for this. Uh, <laughs> Eustace is gonna be pissed off that they eating all his food and shit. Like, this is just this is great. I most most definitely going to watch this. And again, like I said earlier, it's a cartoon. Uh, it's usually inefficient. It's usually not going to take too long. Like, I, I'm, I'm absolutely down here. I'm down for it. It looks, looks fun. Um, Courage is one of them shows I most definitely need to rewatch again. You know what I mean? Like, it, they have a lot of WTF moments. Like, I think Courage is one of the inventors of WTF moments in, like, an like early animated, like, were they 2000s or 90s? It's 2000s. Definitely the Aaron just pointed out uh, Rand and Stimpy. Yes, Rand and Stimpy most definitely was first. Like, oh, for big for time sure. what the fuck moments. Um, but for yeah, sure. man, like, Courage, I think, was like, you know, the predecessor. They continue to just continue to push this shit forward. So, yeah, man, I'm excited for this, man. This, this is good. Like, gross out humor added with Scooby Doo. You know what I mean? I just wonder what the hell the rest of the mystery gang gonna do. Like, I, I, I feel like they're gonna get put in the background with this one. Scooby Shaggy. Sure. You know, they're going to be doing a lot with Courage, but for the rest of them, I just don't. Thelma going to be like trying to. Well, they, showed, uh, they showed Daphne with her Harley Quinn ballot. I thought that was an odd, uh, an odd thing to give her. True. Yes. Who's voicing Daphne? Because that's a good question. Because they they may have like snuck Let's some shit in. Even I've never noticed like how much how similar the drawing styles are for them too. Like they they make sense together. Uh yeah. Uh well sometimes courage doesn't the creators don't care about like what the animation is. I feel like like sometimes you can just sneak anything in there. They look good together. Like I hope yeah. I honestly hope that this becomes a thing. Like I actually don't like the way that they look together. Really? That's my one criticism. Yeah. I don't think it. It looks weird together. Like it, Courage, uh, Courage's animation had a certain style to it that's being picked up in this, but it looks too glossy. Mm. What if they just like, uh, like just like, didn't change anything about either one? It was just like seventies fucking. Uh, <laughs> that's that's, that's, that's the way to do it. That's, that's yeah, be a bunch of it. frames of everybody just walking. It, it, They're it, not it, moving, but the background's moving. Kind of like your like native aesthetic with uh, uh, Kind of like uh, uh, how Harvey Birdman used to be. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was that's that shit. Wow. I, I watched like two seconds of the new joint, and I don't know. I don't know but it's not There's the same. Oh, there is a new one. Uh, yeah. There's a new it's Harvey Birdman? You can't recreate that fight. It's, uh, yeah. it's like his daughter or something. Okay. On oh, Adult Swim? Yeah. Word. Really? Great. Yeah, is it, I mean, is it good? Uh, no. To answer your question, Matthew Lillard of Scream fame is voicing Shaggy. Tight. Also, didn't he play him in the movie? Wait, he was, yeah, he wasn't did. he Shaggy in one of the Shaggy movies? In the movies? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that guy. Yeah, he was the dude who um, that uh, well, Casey Kasem actually chose to continue on for him. He's got that he got the nod. Sprint. 
He does have yeah, wisdom. He got the nod from Casey Kasem. That's yeah. the best title. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah. And then they decided yeah, not to use him in the movies. Uh, the last two Scooby-Doo movies was the first time they didn't use him as Shaggy, which is interesting. Mm-hmm. A lot of the fans of the Scooby-Doo universe were not uh, happy that they changed it, but the new dude, he did okay. What is um, some Wilbur. random actor? Some random actor. I can't remember what his name was. He did okay. I, I saw like a, a nostalgia critic review of the last one. I didn't watch the whole movie. It looked kind of goofy. I was about to say you definitely knew more about Scooby Doo than I expected you to in that. That was a lot of Scooby Doo backstories. Hey man, I like my Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo has a lot of history. Hey man. Nah, man, I'm associated with Eddie with uh, Elgin over here, you know what I'm saying? Unbelievable! You know what I mean? It's all good. Yeah, but I'm excited for this shit. This well, is thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you, DJ Alokari. Uh, last but not least, Steve, how do you feel about the movie? Oh, uh, it's, uh, we're, we're talking about Scooby-Doo. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The courage here. Um, I mean, who's really this movie, you know? Is it going to be Courage? Is it going to be the, the uh, Shaggy in him? Uh, fucking, uh, <laughs> will it be like crazy marijuana references? It's not on Cartoon Network. What, what's going to happen? There has to be ref- marijuana references or else it's not. Yeah, it, it's it's legal probably in the state they're filming it in. Or create, right, drawing it. Uh, I don't know who is supposed to be centered in the story, but the story is written by the creator of Courage the Cowardly Dog. Oh, so it's yeah, gonna, I think so it's gonna be better than the Scooby Doo episode. So that's great. That's For real. Sure. That's so For real. Sure. For sure. Oh yeah. So Steve, does that mean that you uh that you're into this? Uh yeah, I'm gonna uh, somehow figure out how to have it on my television and uh sit on the couch with my uh laptop and probably do something else while they <laughs> yeah. Entertainment Word. multitasking. Dogs. So, yeah. Watch memes oh, and watch a movie. <laughs> Tight. Yeah, exactly. Mike, well, is it a bad uh, thing that yes. we may have to go pick up more Malort next week? Uh, if they'll give it to us. I'm just saying. Oh, by the way, I have Malort shirts I mean, for the whole go. team. Say it closer yeah. to the microphone. I was saying, uh, for the record, I have Malort shirts for the entire team. Oh, uh, Malort tees, Malort propaganda, yeah. Elgin, say, Elgin, say Malort, say Malort really fast three times into the mic. Malort, Malort, Malort. Yep, he, he's had some of it. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. Oh, Malort is coming out of his screen right behind him. Yeah, right. Say his name three times. Oh, wow. Except he's just, you're just drunk. He doesn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't remember what happened for the rest of the night. You just can't say Malort anymore. There you go. He takes your ability yeah. to say Malort. It's like Remember a German uh, from fairy tale. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, folks. What? So me and oh. Chip are in the same room right now, if you guys couldn't tell, so... We're doing one mm-hmm, more shot of mm-hmm. Malort before we uh, say our shout out. For sure. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to go into our shout out segment, or as Kenny calls it. Yeah, it's the murmurs. There it is. That's right. Uh, That's the murmurs, Trey. <laughs> shout out to Troy, first and foremost. Um, I would like to shout out uh, one Jeff Johnson. Shout out uh, for letting me stay in his apartment because my flight leaves at 6 a.m. and the hotel kicked me out at 12. Um, I want to shout out uh, Rob Lee of MTR Podcast Network. I want to shout out the head nerds in charge. I want to shout out uh, the trap nerds. I want to shout out Spicy Ramen Podcast. I want to shout out Roxy Hayes. I want to shout out Karen Ashley, who's actually really short. Uh, I had no idea. Karen Ashley, the Power Ranger? Yes, not very Nigga, tall. everyone's like shorts compared to you. You were a fucking giant. What the hell are you talking about? Um, which one is uh, Karen Ashley? The, the, the yellow? She was Aisha, yeah, the, black, yellow the girl that... Yeah, yeah, she's awesome. She was the uh, Black Ranger. Ranger. She Stop. was the Black Ranger. Her name is Aisha. The second Black Ranger. She's the girl that you never had, and I want to get to know her, baby. Oh. There you go. 
Yeah. Uh, I want to shout out uh, Chris, who took the uh, pictures and who drank Malort with me first. Um, I'll post all these Malort videos once I edit them down. Um, shout out to Blurcon. It was a great time. Um, yeah. Well, where else would I be able to uh, get drunk and eat breakfast with the Blurds and Whiskey Crew? Tight. At the same time, I'm only at Blurcon. Hi there, huh? Um, I mean, maybe, but I don't <laughs> live there. <laughs> uh, Steve, what are your shot? Who do you want to show? Oh, hey, shout out to Nikki. Uh, I miss you. I look forward to seeing you. Um, go ahead. I'm a shout out to Smith. You're holding me down right now, you know. Uh, I'm probably going to go to the beat up after this, so shout out to that. Pretty hungry. I know how much Elgin loves the wings there. Uh, they're good wings. <laughs> they're good wings, and I just thought about them, and I'm uh, shout out to everybody who loves everybody. There it is. Uh, thank you, Steve. DJ Hello Card, who do you want to shout out? First off, man, I want to give a special shout out to um, everyone whose music I played because you guys are all awesome. Uh, please follow all their Get amazing music. Microphone. Oh wait, can, I feel like I'm just low to you. Can everybody else hear me all right? No? Yeah. Check, check. If you're two. closer to your microphone, we don't hear the double features. Oh, got it. Okay. So yeah, no, man. Uh, so first off, I want to give a shout out to everyone who, uh, whose music, you know, uh, that I played earlier today. Uh, shout out to all of them. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, Tin Radio, I appreciate it. Um, also, shout outs to... Uh, to uh what was his name to peaches uh for making me wait an hour and a half for cold ass food um i'm hey. gonna continue to shout you guys out because uh, cpt i'm just saying man <laughs> i'm gonna keep i'm keep shouting you out because i i believe in black businesses you know what i'm saying i want to see people succeed hey. and if your food sucks ass and i know that it can be good food i really hope that you're gonna you know make good food in the, uh, food in the future but as of right now, that's very that, uh, that food was trash, bro. So, um, yeah. Hmm? Um, Where was it? Peaches on 47th and King Drive. Oh, and, uh, yeah, they're usually, I just had that shit. That shit's really good. It's fire, bro. It's it's good food, yeah. man. But y'all can't be lazy, man. You know what I'm saying? You, you can't yeah. have people wait an hour uh, for their meal and then have your food be cold as shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's fucked up. Yeah, dog. You, you gotta, you gotta do better. I want to see y'all do yeah. better. I want to, I want y'all businesses to really thrive. Also, shout out to Peach Coffee because you have never had their coffee before. It is delicious. It has, mm, mm, it's delicious. So yeah, man. I want to see y'all do well. Uh, I'm sorry I gave y'all a shitty ass real uh, Yelp review, uh, but y'all deserve it. Uh, so please, please get better. Uh, fire your fucking cook. I'm gonna say it again. Fire your cook, cause he sucks, <laughs> or they suck, whoever you are. Um, but yeah, shout out to everybody uh, that loves everybody, just like Steve said. And I say everything I say out of love. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> As a dude that has come from, you know, Argyle and Sheridan, all the way up to 47th and King Drive. That's not close. Mm -hmm. Please, please. Yeah. Keep work a little harder. You know what I'm saying? Also, shout outs to Five Loaves. If you're looking for a place to work. Um, they are short staffed right now because of the pandemic. They're on 75th and King Drive. They are an amazing breakfast spot. It's called Five Loaves, best food, uh, but they need new staff because they were shorthanded throughout the pandemic. So if you need a job and you are in the weight industry, please go hit them up. They they can use you. Well, thank you, Jay Uh Kenny, who do you want to shout out? Shout out to... Uh you guys first and foremost for having a good show again uh shout out to first day comics the people who gave me a, a home base to be a nerd uh or you can find me there slinging comics weekly on wednesdays if you're gonna come by when i'm there you can just come by whenever and buy some stuff you know do me a solid um also shout out to pocket con as the Get closer and closer. I'm looking forward to that. If you really can, I think I'll be attending. <laughs> uh, because it's still a pandemic. And uh, everybody, please be vigilant. Please keep wearing your mask because we are 
we're not out of it yet. Uh, I know people have been like, going out for the summer and and do you, but people like myself who really can't afford to do that, uh, yeah, please just be thoughtful and be aware. That's all. Wear a mask. There we go. Wear a mask. Thank you, Ken. Uh, last but not least, the good Dr. Chip Moody. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your man. Also, I think you might be muted. Yeah. Thank you, sir. We're in this together. Uh, first of all, I want to shout out um, eggs. I love eggs. Any way you can cook them or make them. They're excellent. I like them, except for over easy. That's kind of murdery. But every other way is pretty cool. Um, I would also like to shout out Ren Goku. If you've seen the Demon Slayer movie, no spoilers, but shout out to my guy. Um, <laughs> Shout out to uh, anybody black watching an anime or playing video games or doing the shit that we've literally done our whole entire lives. It's not not new to us. Um, all that nerd shit. Shout out to y'all. And if you like photography, I can teach you those things. He's talented. He's a really good. Uh, also, want to yeah, shout out uh, Aaron Mitchell uh, and Kelsey uh, for being in the background. You, you want to say hi? What? You want, want, want to say hi? Oh, well, I already said hi. I, was, I guess I'm saying bye. It's been fun. Bye. Good to see you. We survived SAIC. Yeah, yeah, we did. Bye. We definitely we survived it. Me, me and Chip and our crew found each other, and that's how we survived. <laughs> yeah. What? Back when you needed a college mm -hmm. email for Facebook type shit. Yeah, man, we we just like <laughs> all the they black. Don't know about that. Long ago, all long, the black people ago. found each other because everyone else thought the black person was the other black person. Yo, are you? No, nigga, but I I know who another black yeah, person is now. Thank you. That, yeah, right on. Uh, I definitely went out of my way as I usually do. If, when I saw a black face in SAIC, I see all those be like. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. It's the truth. Uh, you know, we got to stick together out here in these streets. Uh, Chip, by the way, where can people find your photography? Um, you can find my photography. I'm on Instagram, chip.moody. And I look like me. There you go. He does. It's not hard to find. There. He's really not. <laughs> yeah. If you need I'm, help I'm... spelling chip.moody, ask in the door. C H I P, period. M O O D Y. That'd be real. Uh, uh, so, folks, you've been watching Blurred.radio, B L U R D D O T R A D I O. Join us next week when our guest will be. As soon as I get the calendar pulled up. Dean C, uh, actually Dean C and uh, Chris, who I met at BlurCon, will be on. Uh, I don't remember the Instagram tag, but stay tuned uh, until next week, uh, and you'll find it out. Until then, love, peace, hair grease. Read a book. Oh, you say fuck that? <laughs> yeah, I'm not reading no. <laughs> Don't nobody need to hear that shit. Don't <laughs> <laughs> take that illiterate shit out of here, young man. Blur, 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 blur,